What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boost team and today we are here to show you exactly what a professional footballer takes to train in the matches in terms of football boost, training gear, equipment and all those little accessories that you might not know about. So if you're interested, stay tuned for the whole video but let's get right into it. Now, as you saw, I was just listening to music on my headphones, and to be fair, headphones are probably the number one travel accessory for pro footballers. How many times have we seen it? The cameras go to the team bus, the players are walking out, and they've got their headphones on their heads or around their necks. Most of the time, they're Beats, because of all the marketing, the big contracts, most of the players have Beats headphones, but at the end of the day, they are actually really good for helping the players focus and block out the noise from all the crowd and the paparazzi. So let's put our headphones aside and get into what's actually inside the bag. Now, if you are a pro footballer, you're gonna need a high quality football to show the millions of people all your skills and ability. Now, the ball that we've gone for is a very nice one. It's the Adidas My Coach Smart Ball. Now, apart from it being able to tell you how powerful you kick it, which is really fun, it's also really good to improve your performance as well in terms of ball striking. If you strike with your laces, it will show it goes straight. If you give it a knuckleball, you can see it wobbling all over the place. And if you whip it, you can see the curve. Really, really nice. And you can train yourself to give yourself more whip, more knuckleball, or strike it lower or higher. So really nice football. So that's our second piece in our bag. So let's put that aside and get into our next item. Now walking around the changing rooms, you don't want to do it barefoot, so you need a pair of slides or flip-flops. The ones that all the pros wear are these Adidas ones. Now these are actually so, so nice. They're almost like a leather material. These are high quality. So many pros out there around the change room will wear these slides. We can put them aside as well and get into our next one. Now this next one is a little bit more unique and we've got some customized shin pads. And trust me, these look amazing. These were sent to us by the guys at Shin Art NL, which is Shin Art Netherlands. So they're actually a Netherlands based company and you can actually customize them, which look amazing. Now the design that we went for, on one side we're football boots with the black and orange half and half. We've got the football boots logo and then we've got England mixed with New Zealand. So that's one side of the shin pad. And on the other side, black and white stripes for Newcastle, that's my team. Zidane in his France shirt, number 10, my favorite player of all time, and then MC4, Matt Carruthers initials, and then number four squad number. These are incredible. These ones are carbon fiber as well, so very lightweight, very strong, are gonna cost you 100 euros, but there's also a fiberglass material one as well, which costs 90 euros. I'd personally just pay the 10 more euros and get the carbon fiber ones. They are ultra high quality, amazing company, so thank you to them. And by the way, guys, all the products that you're gonna be seeing today will be listed below in the description, some really cool things to show you. So if you are interested, and make sure you stay tuned to check out them online. So we've put our shin pads aside, one of my favorite items in my bag, Move on to the next ones, and these are tuba grips. Now, tuba grips are so important because these are what actually the shin pads sit in. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you've seen the shin pad sleeves that actually come with the shin pads themselves, but for me, they don't fit tight enough. And the great thing about these tuba grips is they're so ultra compressive, it really is unbelievable. I've been wearing these things for like four, five, six, seven seasons ever since I was a young player, and trust me, your shin pads do not move. Wear them for 90 minutes, slide tackles on a wet day, your socks are moving everywhere. If your shin pads are in a set of tuba grips, then they will not move, and you can get these from pretty much any pharmacy for a couple of pounds, it's not a big deal, but these are great for your shin pads. Now, moving on from shin pads and the sleeves, we now need some socks, and as you guys are probably all aware, the socks on the professional stage, which are so popular, are true socks, which are brilliant for responsiveness. Now, the reason for that is they've got those grippy texture pods all across the bottom and across the heel, so they really stick inside a football boot. Now, these do work really well. I don't think they're the most comfortable pair of socks on the market. I prefer the Nike grip ones myself. They're the ones that I wear, but so many pros, including Gareth Bale, they wear true socks. Now, we've got orange ones because we're black and orange, but you can get pretty much any color. They're quite expensive. I think they're about 20 pounds, 25 pounds, so pretty pricey for one pair of socks. But if you want a very premium product, which may help a little bit of performance, these will be brilliant. But trust me, not the most comfortable, especially when the little bobble happens. So let's put this one aside and get into our next item. And this one is very unique. Some of you may know what this is, but a lot of you might not. Now, this is a foam roller. So many professional players and physios swear by this product. 
What it is, is pretty much a self-massage tool. You put your body weight on top and slowly roll it out. Any muscle soreness or tightness, this is gonna help you so, so much. Amazing item. But let's put this aside and get into our next one. Now, if you are going down to the training ground, you're gonna need some kind of training gear. Now, these are some Nike three-quarter pants, but what I love so much about these ones is they're ultra, ultra tight. When I'm playing football, anything on my legs, I don't want to be ultra baggy. If that's trousers, if it's shorts, three-quarters, I like it to be really, really tight, and these are brilliant for that, and obviously for us, the black and orange colorway. Brilliant item, really enjoy these, and obviously matching that, we need a top. Again, we've gone for Nike, orange and black this time around to reverse the colorway. Again, it's just nice and tight fitting. The tracksuit that I'm actually wearing right now is a little bit different. It's Nike again, but this one's actually Aero Swift. So it's even more compressive, even more snug fitting. But Nike say this is their performance stuff. This is the kind of stuff that you would imagine the big pros, the big clubs to be wearing in their training. And one thing I like about the pants is when you actually stretch it, it changes color. So as we can see here, it's black. But if you pull it a bit tight, it changes color to orange. So really, really sick. Now, a couple other things that we have in our bag are the undergarments, so all the compression clothing. Now, when you're looking at pro footballers, they're usually sponsored by a brand. These ones are skins. Skins are pretty good. They're quite expensive. A lot of pros actually wear this. It's quite thick, but very, very tight fitting. We've gone for the black with the vault, which is their kind of classic colorway. So that's the compressive top. And also, of course, you need some pants as well to match. So we've gone for the shorts. These ones are just slightly longer ones. They go down to the back, the top of the knee. But together, especially in the winter, these are so, so good for keeping you warm. But the main purpose is to also regulate the blood across the body. So that's our main compartment taken care of. But what you guys have all been waiting for is the football boots. Now, what I'll show you first is what I take to football and then I'll get into what a professional footballer would take to football. So we've got this compartment at the bottom here, and as you can see, four pairs of the same pair of boots. Now that's what you're probably gonna see pros have. Now I wear the high venom finish, and I've actually got four different pairs. These are my newest ones. So these I got about two or three months ago, still pretty good condition, but I've also got three other colorways as well. I've got the floodlights pack, so those ones with the spark brilliance, these ones are the floodlights ones. These are a little bit worn in, so I've worn these for about two or three months again, but a lot more, so these are actually really soft. It's good to have more than one pair. I've also got another pair of the Spark Brilliance. These ones are pretty knackered, so, so soft, but quite wear and tear right now. These are probably on their last legs. And finally, just an SD Pro pair for the winter, but most of the time I either play on 3G pitches or really good services, which don't actually need SD Pros. But if I ever do, then they're in there. Now these products are actually really, really cool. These are from A1 Fight Gear. These are amazing. Now what these are actually used for, once you wear your football boots, you put them inside and it keeps the boots smelling really nice. It actually absorbs all the bad smells and gets rid of them, which is such a nice thing because a lot of these other products, they only mask the smell, but these ones, you actually put them inside the boot and it almost absorbs the smell, take them out and your boots are smelling ultra fresh. Now, just like the shin pads, these guys, you can find all their details in the description below and these are only five pounds and last such a long time. So for a fiver, I think this is such a great thing because how many boots out there start smelling so, so bad? Just stick these after wearing them and then they smell amazing. So that's my own personal pair of boots. Four pairs of hyphen and finish. So let's get into what an actual professional would wear. So a model of football boots which have just been released are the Adidas X. Now what you'll probably find is that pros out there will either be in the X17.1 or the 17 plus pure speed. So if it's a player who isn't sure which one they want, they'll probably have both in their boot bag, especially in training. They might be trying out the 17.1 with the laces exposed and also the 17 plus pure speed with the laces covered by the pure cut cover. But alongside the Adidas boots, there's also Nike. And one thing that Nike do is offer the boots with their different collar heights. We've got the dynamic fit collar of the Phantom 3DF and also the low cut Phantom 3 low. Now I personally prefer the low cut, but there might be a lot of pros out there who aren't sure yet. They might be testing these out and haven't decided which model they actually prefer. So they might actually have both inside. So we've got the 17.1 and the pure speed and also the Phantom 3 in both low cut and DF. 
So guys, that pretty much wraps up what a pro footballer takes to train in the matches. But what do I personally think are their three favorite items? Now I think headphones would be absolute number one. They all have a bit of music. Number two would be the customized shin pads, amazing. And so many pros actually have these. And then third and finally, it has to be the pair of football boots they wear in their matches because these are the ones that are going to earn them the money and also win the trophies. But as I said, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.